Hello everyone, this is uh, DS Games playing uh, Sim Cities 2013, uh, Sim Cities uh, Cities of Tomorrow's full, the full editions. Uh, thank you everyone for catching up on the uh, development. Uh, very appreciate that. I uh, hope uh, if you if it's possible, uh, can you share your comments or uh, give a like to the videos so that it's uh, helped me to do more. Um, if it's possible, uh, if you want to subscribe and be notified for the, any new updates okay uh, today uh, as, as uh, development goes we will intend to uh, show you guys uh, more development that we have done so objectively the, showing the, the progress uh, of these uh, two cities east and west <coughs> referring to uh, our last uh, video updates uh, it seems that we have this uh, plastic reclaim uh, in stock but uh, it's not able to clear hence uh, it's always uh, stock full I'm trying to find out what actually happens so after analysis um, well, looking into it uh, I felt that you know logically it should have a, it should be inside a trade depot uh, that you can start trading so we may have missed out something so after looking at it uh, I realized one important point uh, because <laughs> How can the trade how can the trade the pot uh, without a space for the for the plastic? <laughs> so that's why we, we better do something to to put in the store for the plastic. Meaning, uh, in this case, uh, we have uh, reclaimed plastic, but we are not clearing our stocks. Uh, so that's why it's still sitting there. So we've been wondering why, and the Darans is actually a trade the pot. You don't see plastic in the depot in the trade depot, so we we have to give some space for it. Uh. Since uh, two of it is for freight, one is for oil, one is for coke. So roughly, I can be we can be able to clear a, a space for for plastic. Uh. So we can see uh, with SimCity, uh, there's this uh, building this uh, AI logic. Uh. So it's you know, quite reasonable. You need to have space in order to sell. In order to have, you need to have the trade hub in order you can trade. <laughs> it's logical. So let's put it down. Yeah. Demolish it. Give way for a new one. Yep. Next one. No, not this one. No? Yeah, that's the one. Plastic storage lots. Let's pump it in. Yeah. Only then we can start selling our plastic. Wow, plastic is expensive. 21,000 compared to you know, crude oil and oak. But I think uh, mainly because SimCity, they, they actually goes for uh, environmental friendly. Uh, no, plastics is not environmental friendly items. It probably takes hundreds and hundreds of years to, uh, I mean, before you can actually, before the plastic can actually goes, uh, goes into complete. Uh, don't know what you call that. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, uh, let's let's continue. <laughs> well, uh, you can see here on the bottom right. Uh, Task bar or commentary or you know remarks or whatever we call it. Uh, our waste uh, disposal is, is more or less full. Uh, garbage cans and plastics are full. So we need to start selling. So in order to start selling, you you need to tell them that to tell the system that you are going to ex you need to export or you know imports or you know for internal use accordingly. So immediately uh, you can see that the plastic uh, storage has dropped, so it's no longer in the uh, full capacity, I mean full storage. Uh. So that means uh, we are in, into the right directions. Because the profit uh, we need to at least uh, ramp up, I mean accumulated profit, uh, to be able to, to have enough uh, money to whether to construct or even to expand. So what I'm doing here is uh, 
just let the system run and while we accumulate our positive uh, income our positive profits uh, so that when it's able to have a certain level of uh, accumulated uh, simulons then we can start uh, construct or, or you know build in the infrastructure accordingly well, which is more or less like you know playing around with the systems uh, because you need the money so uh, if the money is not going to come in you may have a problem when it when certain certain uh, problems arise so we have to hold for a while you know let the let the time runs uh, in the in the expedite mode then we have uh, enough money what we are looking at is uh, perhaps accumulate up to about maybe two million for each city, or if not, or if possible, some of these cities uh, is able to accumulate more. Maybe uh, say up to five or six million, even ten million. Then we can use, we can even uh, transfer the money over to other cities which need the money to, to do construction. So let's let's uh, play on these strategies and see how things move. Uh, as the expansion goes, uh, this area here, you know, anything below uh, this uh, wind turbine, uh, we need further construction. That, that means we need to build in the road infrastructure. So uh, the intention is to uh, progressively move downwards uh, while the uh, residents start to expand, we start to grow more. It means start to build more of the buildings, I mean residential buildings. Uh, time to time, we are zoned in the commercial. So with this plan in mind, uh, those uh, powers, powers uh, utility is definitely not going to be enough. So what we need to do is we, at this moment, uh, start to build in this uh, infrastructure first. Build in a uh, small wind turbines, a large one, you know, by stretching the road, the dirt road here. Uh, because I mean, that's the reason why we choose this plot of land, uh, so that we, we have uh, ample space. To, to allocate to this uh, wind turbine. Actually, uh, this uh, wind turbine is, is not that efficient. So ideally, we should have solar systems. But due to some uh, land constraint, um, we want to industrialize this area. So maybe uh, we'll enhance it or, or, or upgrade it uh, times comes. In the meantime, uh, what's, more, what's more significant is uh, we have enough money to be accumulated. Okay, so um, road has been uh, has been built. Then uh, we zone in some of these uh, residential first. So uh, I also realize uh, the zoning of this uh, whether it, uh, whether is it uh, industrial, commercial, or, com or even uh, residential like this. Uh, to to maximize the land land space, uh, we it's better that we only uh, zone one part of the roads because as the expansion goes as the densities increase when the building get bigger uh, that's the efficient area that the, 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 band, the land the, building, the residential building or even any buildings and industrial buildings or commercial buildings will, will construct so if you build both sides uh, it limits the construction and it limits the density therefore it also limits on the, the income that you're going to get from the residents The other thing uh, we need to consistently take note is also to look at each of these uh, raw material or this uh, specialty, uh, specialty production raw materials uh, to look at the data and, and progress consistently because if you notice it says production stop because it's full storage so uh, by exporting it uh, we produce we, it means we, we are able to we need to produce more uh, so if you start the production maybe maybe you we didn't export, it will stop the production. So we have to take note and be careful. It seems uh, people are actually quite hardworking. They work day and night. So here you see the trade report, uh, the consistent update of, uh, of the respective uh, uh, Raw material going up and down means uh, moving in and out. So once they have uh, committed, once they have uh, produced certain level of uh, 
crude oil, you know, they will export. So therefore, they generate the kind of uh, income, you know, then they start to grow. Uh. See, we have this uh, power issue now. Means uh, insufficient uh, electricity. Uh. Looking at the at the commentary. Uh, saying there is not enough control net uh, because of cash control I mean the money constraint uh, you don't want to I mean we don't want to to, to utilize our money to, to invest in all this uh, control net uh, or even uh, omega uh, not at this moment uh, not until we have enough money so the only way to solve it is to build in build in more with the buys uh. anyway we have reserved uh, some some space for it so while we're expanding, uh, let's see how things move. It will come to a point that we will uh, demolish, uh, decommission all these uh, wind turbines and build in control net. But because we are looking, we are always looking at Omegas. You know, anyway, I, I have a personal preference on Omegas also. <laughs> so, you know, putting in uh, wind turbines is uh, transitional issues. Uh, but at least it don't pollute the, the land, you don't pollute the air la. which uh, more importantly here is a residential zone we, we don't want to get our we don't want to make our sims unhappy so let's let's ramp up the the power utilities by putting more wind turbines we still have some space to go so this should this should, this should uh, uh, be able to tentatively solve the power issues I mean, if it's can, uh, we will just pump in more uh, until we reach the end of the road. Uh. We have uh, 60, 64 watts of uh, excess, so it should be fine at this moment. So that's the thing I'm saying. So while well, we, we need, if you need to build in the Omega control nets, we need Omega. Uh, so then we need to conduct all this research first before we can we can uh, start doing research for those respective uh, uh, utilities. Uh. So, but not at this moment. Uh, it's, each building is going to cost five hundred fifty thousand, and you need uh, a few hundred uh, simulons to maintain it. So, hence I say it's it's not the right time. Uh. We just got to hold on for a while. Though we have signal, but uh, I can tell you it is not uh, in its efficient form. And even though we have uh, this control net uh, signal booster, uh, you can see it's, uh, it's, it's in the center, so it's, it's not in operating. I mean, it's, it's not in use. You, you, it's, you are not using it uh, because we don't have all this. Uh, well, you, you may ask me then why, why, plan, why, why construct in the first place? <laughs> Because early on, uh, I'm just trying. So, so once I uh, once I constructed it, eh, when you study, go through into the details in, in depth, you will notice that it's not it's not helpful. But it it, it, it helps a bit, you know. It helps uh, a bit in the sense uh, uh, you can see the uh, the utilities it, it itself. Uh, they have uh, these signals uh, extended to the part. But I don't think it is going to help. It's not in its efficient form. So without all this research and, and enhancement, uh, it just work on the basic things. Hence, uh, what I think is most important is, is at least be able to accumulate enough uh, uh, simulons. I have uh, 161,000. Uh, definitely not enough. We need to give some time to it. Um, the next things uh, in our development is actually to, to have a, a trade trading a trade HQ. Uh. So we, we need some uh, to to issue some bonds uh, to to in order for for such uh, constructions. So why why do we need uh, the HQ? Uh, very simple because. 
while we have a trade airport, uh, we need the HQ to be able to um, efficiently buying and selling the raw material accordingly. Uh, meaning that if you produce, it, it's just like an um, exchange. Uh, it goes like the same basis like an exchange. So with the HQ, uh, you will be able to buy and buy low and then sell high and then you gain the profit, of course. So progressively, we are, while we are expanding uh, our our in these uh, cities, because this is like an industrial zone, so the the trading of our raw materials are, are very vital and crucial. So uh, with that thing in mind, uh, we need to expand our road infrastructure. So ideally, uh, I would want to build this area that we we draw. We just draw this uh, construction of the road for the uh, water pumps. Uh, because uh, we also notice the water pumps are not enough, so one thing after another. Uh. So, but before that, uh, let's let's pump in this uh, trade HQ. Uh, from there, then we start to uh, get more of the uh, profit from from buying and selling of the raw materials. Now. This is the one I'm referring to, uh, petroleum division, only uh, four hundred thousand. Uh. <laughs> so all our money uh, is all about capitalism. And playing a game like this, or even in real life, uh, it's all about capitalism. So likewise, uh, knowing what we need to do, we just need to hold on first, since we really have this HQ. I mean the trade HQ. So and knowing that we we, we are still in constraint of uh, stimulons, so. We need to hold on first again. Uh, the next things uh, we need to look at is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the water uh, water systems. Uh, it seems like it's going to pollute. Uh. So likewise, uh, I expect the timing in a speed it up. Uh. But uh, to 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 let the money grow, so, but eventually I will I will just uh, go behind go offline, you know, let the money uh, expedite, speed up, let the money grow, so that we have accumulated about uh, millions of dollars. Then we'll come back to reconstruct, uh, come back to construct uh, some of the buildings or even uh, especially with the one. But before that, uh. Let's, let's just, uh, I think it should be more or less there. Let's spend some time on, on the West doing the similar things. Uh, I mean, similar strategies, uh, applying the strategies that we're going to apply from East to West uh, so that it, it let the, the, the time speed up and then let the money grow. So, so let's, let's take a look at the West. So uh, we left up the, in our earlier videos. Uh, there's some changes to it, but not much, lah. So because things are relatively slow, and much more importantly, the, the profit is minimum. We only have eleven uh, thousands of uh, accumulated millions. So, so let's let's proceed to to do up some of these basic things, and then you know, likewise, uh, once we have the basic infrastructures up set up. Uh, and there's no potential problems and also there are enough profits and we'll let it uh, speed up and accumulate enough uh, stimulants before we do anything else I think that's, that's a very straightforward uh, strategy to use uh, because you, anyway if you even, for, if, even if you want to call for bonds you can only allow to maximum 300,000 uh, into 3 different bonds with 300,000 you can't do much also I mean I think that those things that we're going to buy, uh, some cost five hundred thousand, some cost three hundred thousand. Uh, if you don't have enough uh, similons into millions, I don't think uh, seriously that we can do much things about it. Because um, don't forget, if you if you if you expand too fast, uh, over expansion is one uh, very critical things that that potentially will will let me your city die off. Uh. So to maintain the budget, it will mean that while we are investing, uh, there must be sufficient uh, profit 
on an hourly basis in this case so that you know when certain thing happens it won't eat into your profit as a result become a loss and if you don't have enough accumulated money the loss will going to kill the city so well, the way I figure out I think we need easily five hundred thousand to maintain any drop uh, in the into the into the rate like meaning to losses so we find hundred thousands uh, if you want to expand one building one one landmark one cultural landmark is already five hundred thousand or five hundred fifty thousand <laughs> so it, it don't work eh? so to play this well we have to man- we have to we have to make sure the cities generate uh, some nicely decently profit and even to the extent of increasing the tax so when they increase the tax it will means that um, many of these uh, residents will go into uh, homeless so some of the city, some of the buildings will be abandoned you know so when it's abandoned we got to make sure we demolish it fast if not your profit will drop and you will eat into your accumulated I mean incumbented money or incumbented simulon so uh, we have to balance the budget balance the way we play uh, in order to enjoy the games uh. seriously <laughs> Let's talk a little bit on our, our expansion plan first. Uh, you see here, uh, the water pump is polluted. It's polluted because we are building a water pump too near the industrial zone. So what we can do is, uh, we've got to build another water pump which is uh, in, a, in, a, in a clear water blue. Yeah, you see in this case, uh, the brown color is the industrial zone, so it's polluted. So we first build a water pump there. But as the expansion of industrial goes, uh, it will pollute. The, the, the pollution will expand. So we have to build our water pump away from the industrial zone. I think that's a very fundamental uh, note we need to take. Uh, all the Sim City, all the builders' games are like that. Uh, not just the Sim City, even the uh, City Skylines are uh, on the same logic. So, so uh, we need to make sure we have uh, enough. Uh, I mean, the access. Uh, Water utility, water uh, system, water systems, uh, electricity systems, as well as the sewage systems. So we we are always in the red uh, as far as this. Uh, if you see this taskbar, uh, this red color, the little icons. Uh, the red was because of. Uh, the tax that we increase, uh, <laughs> the residents actually say complaints, uh, saying the tax is too high. They can't afford it, so they will abandon the city. they will abandon the building. So here you are, you see, uh, one abandoned building. But as you go along, you will notice that you know more and more be more and more buildings will be abandoned, that including the industrial buildings or even commercial buildings will be abandoned. So as I as I mentioned many times, uh, uh, we need to demolish it soon. So here, uh, facing uh, directly on this plot of uh, empty land, we, we, we plan to build in our own electricity here. I mean, electric uh, power system here, because uh, while we we're exploring, we we did not want to utilize the the capacity from city east. So while expanding uh, this stretch of uh, roads, we are exploiting. Uh, this uh, wind turbines into this uh, this empty space at this moment. So one thing to note is the whole logic of this uh, development for Sim Cities. Uh, because the, the, the limit of the lands are, are as such, meaning you know it's within this uh, dotted white square, unlike uh, 
city skyline where you know you are given the whole big plot of the land to, to explore explore and then uh, construct so we are bound to uh, do demolition of uh, of uh, buildings and even uh, the zoning of uh, uh, residents uh, to industry or you know vice versa very frequently because uh, as, as the city expands uh, when more and more people when, when your population increase uh, the only way is uh, the zone and zone the zone and zone you know the only way is to uh, switch from residential to industrial or you know most of the time it's uh, right industrial to residential like, because uh, you need people to stay in the city before you can expand your cities and expand your cities will means that you you can get more uh, profit la. so uh, population is the key la. so population will goes into residential zone so you, you may see me you will see us now you know uh, building say zone for this uh, this piece of land as uh, power power utilities but in in maybe i don't know in in, in the next video you see me uh, dezoning taking away this this plot of land of power and putting maybe a, a solar system into another area within this plot of city uh, because while we are accumulating our money we need to to give some space to to some of these basic utilities so we have no choice uh, but to build as you go and demolish uh, as you expand So just as uh, we start talking, we stop talking. You you see here the waste disposal has issue now. So uh, you, you because the land are the constraint, so it's not possible to to configure your your city development in a in a straight mode lah. That you know this is what you want to do, and you know you you're not going to change once you you settle it. Yeah. Meaning like city skyline. You know I play city I play this city, city skyline before. So in fact, I'm not still playing, but I spend more time on Sin Cities. Uh, so I find it uh, quite fun actually. Uh. <laughs> so so uh, you, you you have to change from time to time. Uh. So you are not given a choice. Uh. I mean, the choice to change, uh, but the, not not the, not the choice to to fix your uh, your zoning in one particular mode as you like. Okay, so uh, so much so. <coughs> so uh, we got to be fast uh, before the, the the virus spread. Uh. <laughs> so we got to quickly demolish. Uh. Then very soon it will come again. So that's part and parcel of this game. Uh, you can't you can't maintain a, a standard budget by giving low tech to your residents unless you have sufficient population. So it's a it's a it's a cycle uh. It's a it's a cycle thing. So you need to manage the cycle. Uh. We didn't forget uh, that our whole uh, initial plan was to develop this this uh, city west into a uh, uh, tourist zone. So, but you, you can see very clearly, uh, you, you can't just pump in. I mean, it started with one million simulons. Uh, you can't possible pump in your in the, in tourist zone of the city immediately without uh, following through the basic things of uh, sim cities, meaning. Uh, residents, industrial and commercial. So when you put in all those basic things, uh, the basic problem comes. You know, power, like water, sewage, crimes, health, <laughs> all those standard things, uh, police, you know, education, all these problems will come. So if you don't solve it, you will never go to, you will never be able to reach the stage of uh, building this city into the city that you want. So, well, while we, we need to achieve that, so we came in and we come up with a conclusion that you know uh, to accumulate up to accumulate enough money is also vital. I mean that's life. Yeah. Without cash, without accumulate cash, you 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 can't do you can't do things. <laughs> you know, whether in, in terms of uh, you know, a weird 
a weird uh, stage that we we are in in this uh, in in the world in this world now. So it become very important uh, that we need to be able to sustain. Uh, sustainability is is always uh, a big issue. Uh, and sustainability, we are talking about holding enough uh, cash or bank or mean uh, money. Here we are getting ready for this uh, plot of land which is uh, nearer to the seashore uh, for our uh, a more efficient uh, power plant, in this case uh, solar system as well as uh, water pumping systems. Uh, uh, we want it to be to be a bigger bigger utilities uh, in order to be able to sustain the, the cities. I mean uh, the city west. Strange, I know. I can't. I can't extend a straight road on this piece of land. I think that should work. Yeah, it's not straight. I think it's fine. I can bear with it. Likewise for city west, uh, I will just uh, let the let it speed up and and picks up the the profits and accumulate accordingly. So uh, that should uh, that should last for a while. We we'll probably do it offline. Earlier I mentioned uh, we we our zoning should be only on one side of the road, not on both sides, because both sides will limit the the expansion on the buildings to a higher density. Eh? But I, I didn't want to de rezone it because if you, you have to demolish then you rezone. It. Likewise uh, for city skyline you can actually re dezone and rezone but not here. Even if you rezone you dezone the building is still there. Eh? <laughs> it won't it won't unless you demolish it. Eh? So no point. So so unless uh, we demolish it, then I rezone it to, to one one side of the road. But anyway, uh, we we may find a time to to you know bite the bullet uh, to demolish one whole stretch and then to the de rezone it on one side of the road. Uh, because uh, if you do it now, we may we may suffer a big bite into our income, uh, which I I wouldn't want to make this happen. And uh, let's hold on for a while. Next, I would want to share. I mean, uh, to to show this uh, shared service between cities uh, that uh, this uh, sim cities uh, can have. Uh. So there is this uh, resource map, uh, which you can uh, once you click it, you bring it to this to this uh, I mean, another set of taskbar. Uh. So each of these taskbar will shows uh, the things, the items that uh, you can you can share, uh, which include the. Uh, the money, I mean, uh, include how you can uh, transfer your money from one city to another. So uh, I will demonstrate it, it uh, when when times comes, uh, meaning when I have accumulated, when one of the cities uh, accumulated enough uh, similons or money. Uh. 
So uh, before that, uh, I can't I can't transfer. I mean, there isn't point to transfer lah. You know? So you know, you 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 have this uh, each uh, points. Uh, we actually shows uh, the items that we can uh, share. Lah. So uh, at the same time, uh, in this instance, we are showing uh, you know the the main projects, uh, the big projects, the great work, the great projects. Uh. We haven't decide what to do, uh, but soon I think very soon we will be able to tell what are the things that we can do. Uh. I mean, we will be able to show us what are the things we can do. So on each of them, uh, it actually says that we are uh, lack of uh, high wealth group, uh, which makes sense uh, because my my cities has only expanded up to medium wealth, uh, including the east. They are similar places. Uh. I don't have a uh, super high density street cars. Uh, so you, you you don't see high wealth group there, but again it says that you can send shoppers to to increase to increase the uh, the land value, then increase the high wealth, increase the high wealth. So so we we are still have a fair bit of gap to go for each of these cities. Let's spend, let's spend some time uh, exploring this piece of land before we, uh, I mean, before we deciding decided what to do about this. Uh, because as, as I mentioned just now, uh, which, regardless which, which plot, which zone, I mean east, west or north, uh, we, we, we need to build in the basic uh, residential, industrial and commercial zone first. Uh, so if that's the case, then maybe we we should start looking at it uh, now. Okay, um, after speeding up the uh, the time, and you know, as well as uh, giving some time for this uh, speeding up, uh, because it didn't happen within minutes. Uh. Actually happened for a few days and actually let it go, let it accumulate. So we have now over uh, close to 600,000 and we also increase the tax so that you know we actually boost our, our incremental profits, uh, pro, I mean, pro incremental profits along the way. So we actually ramp up quite substantial. So letting it grow uh, at the same time, uh, it comes up with some problems, uh, you know, utility problems, water problems, pollution problems. So for those areas that uh, we allocated earlier, you know, such as the, the water pump system in this case uh, on the left, uh, as well as the electricity on the right, so we actually pumped up the, the utilities uh, so they can enhance the uh, utilities level. Uh. So this is actually uh, the, the solar system that we that we uh, built in. Uh, these are which are quite interesting things. Uh. <laughs> So uh, we keep on building, expanding the panel, and uh, the utilities, uh, the powers will increase uh, very substantially. I mean, uh, the solar areas. Uh, so panel by panel, you construct in, uh, it will uh, boost the, the powers. Now I have uh, 155 uh, watts uh, in excess. Uh. So uh, along the way, you also see that. Um, the mega towers has also uh, progressively been uh, stacked up, you know, one after another. So uh, this these are done along the way while we are trying to accumulate the the, the money that we have, the stimulus that we have. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, it, it, it won't be a situation that you know you just leave it as it is and you know let it run for itself and the money will go up. You know, this seems this. Uh, they have this uh, 
can probably internal internal check systems and you know, they don't want you to, to take an easy route. So progressively they will they will give you this problem, they will give you that problems, meaning uh, you know fire lookouts, you know, you, you need to ramp up your fire fire stations. Uh, because your city uh, population is increasing now, we have 190, about 190,000 uh, residents. So I mean, it, it, it's logic, uh, That's the logic. In a sense, uh, when 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 the population increases, the the utility problems will come. So, so we need to sustain it. Uh, again, it's a sustain sustainability issues. Uh. So in this case here, you you see me uh, trying to uh, increase the the capacity rates. Uh by putting in more of this uh, garbage, you know, uh, alarms or even, you know, from time to time. So all, all of this will, will expand uh, your, this, this uh, fire station's uh, capacities, you know, marshal office, you know, so uh, only, only, only to, to be able to handle the, the number of fires or seriousness of fires broke out. Uh, it's something interesting. I mean, uh, you city skyline don't work in that way. <laughs> so city skyline is uh, by items, items, item building by by building. Once you constructed, I mean, that's that's the servicing uh, uh, map that you need to build for city skyline. Problem for these same cities is uh, very different. Yeah, because you, you, you need to you, you have the capability to, to, to expand of course uh, when you reach the limits you know you've got to build something new and you, you expand further so uh, getting ready for such uh, problems that may arise is actually quite quite challenging uh, because you wouldn't know until the problem arises as I always say so. Okay, this should more or less uh, done and be able to sensitively sustain for a while. And, but this uh, another issue pop up. I got this uh, garbage garbage issue that uh, again we need to expand. Pump in one more uh, towards the left. Uh. There's a little bit of space there. Uh, it seems uh, we have quite a lot of excess. Uh. It's 3,200 out of 10,000, uh, which means we should be able to, uh, you know, chat service. Uh. Something, uh, something that we probably can consider, but uh, after a while, maybe not this moment, because uh, you won't know when when the connection will stop. I mean, uh, because once your city's uh, capacity is reached, it will stop, and if you don't know, then the other city is running out into problem. You also don't know. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to go through this uh, construction of Mega Tower. Uh, it's uh, interestingly divided by it divided into a, a basic service and crown. Meaning, uh, within the basic and service, you can actually produce. You can actually uh, have eight layers of towers of blocks. The crown is actually the the top part, the roof part. So while you are constructing, you got to think through considerations within the city. Whether do you need uh, uh, workers, do you need uh, uh, industrial, do you need commercial platform under uh, service? So from there you stack up uh, 
your malls uh, where the shoppers comes from the workers and then you uh, step up accordingly uh, as and when it's needed um, I have actually one of the towers which are more or less uh, towards completion uh, I have second tower still in the midst of uh, uh, constructing mainly because uh, I will see how the the requirements and needs within the cities then I decide what are the stacks I want to put in so let's, let's fly back to uh, City East to have a look at uh, the progress then which we left it there for a while so uh, we within the off during the offline I accumulated up to about 2.2 million uh, smilons but I still uh, don't feel comfortable to to proceed any major construction so um, I will just let it uh, grow for a while so during this time uh, it's exactly like what happened in the west uh, cities uh, you know, while you are waiting there are requirements needed to change and modify where you need to demolish and you know put in new things blah 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 la. for example you know the water the water plant the water pumping systems uh, that part was uh, initially at the at the uphill on the other side nearer to the highway uh, it was polluted so I have to demolish it replace with the sewage I mean uh, the waste uh, management systems since it's already polluted and I pump in I put in I constructed the uh, water pump uh, nearer to this uh, to this part of the industry uh, so uh, where I have ample space Uh, allow uh, upgrading of the water pump so here we are uh, on the residential site uh, which we also need to consistently uh, demolish the abandoned house the abandoned buildings so there are a lot of uh, people who went on the street <laughs> because uh, they are their buildings are abandoned uh, they can't afford to pay the tax so I just have to say sorry Sims uh, just bear with me for a while <laughs> Uh, very shortly you can you can actually uh, when stay back i mean uh, you can actually uh, shift back to your to your properties uh, soon just give me a while so something uh, <laughs> a bit uh, not logical is uh, while these cities uh, is have a lot of uh, people who, who left or live to stay in the street you know so but yet there are still a lot of uh, Populations uh, going up. I mean, the population is still going up, meaning uh, people still still shifted in. So, so in a way, it's like saying, uh, while while people are leaving, abandon the buildings, uh, you demolish it, it will construct, and the population will still increase, and people will still stay in. It's like a it's like a cycle kind of things. You know, you go in, you come out, then new people go in, come out. But you know the population increase, which uh, I think much more something which is more important. So uh, I'm, I have get back to to the west side, uh, noting that some of the I mean quite a number of the uh, properties actually uh, upgraded. And likewise, uh, the population increased to one hundred sixty eighty six thousand, and my. Uh, Carry uh, accumulated uh, similar also increase, but uh, that's at the expense of uh, keep on abandon the buildings. I just ramp it up and then you know keep on abolish. I mean uh, demolishing the buildings and you know let it let, let it uh, ramp up lah. So then you know I can I can have the kind of uh, as I mentioned many times uh, the accumulated similar before I I actually do uh, big things, <laughs> big things coming up. But having said that, you can actually see a lot of uh, all this uh, rather is it residential industrial zone they are, they are building actually I mean the density that increase so you have bigger buildings which I think quite nice actually So in other words, no harm demolish them since they will reconstruct anyway <laughs> Should be seeing me uh, 
ramping up further lah because I, as I mentioned earlier, I, I think uh, we need to easily maybe five or six million uh, accumulated simulons before I want to step on to our next actions. So prior to that, I probably will only be uh, you know correct the arrows in a sense uh, uh, upgrade when it's need because it's uh, if you don't do it, it uh, the income will become loss, net loss. So, you, you can you can sustain the kind of uh, accumulated profit for long if you don't have uh, if you didn't sustain the um, the populations is 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 um, very very uh, realistic things. Hence, you probably will see uh, <laughs> more and more abandoned building. I will keep I'll keep on tearing apart. Uh, having said that, you will probably notice that the population increase. You know, so that's the thing we want to achieve uh, to make sure they increase and we have we have a profit. Then uh, we can accumulate enough uh, income. Yes, yeah, it's cross a million, but it's not easy to sustain. Uh, uh, we just have to take note <laughs> because um, you see a lot of uh, uh, street dwellers going on there. You know, it's like the whole city is, is oh, so many you know, so many beggars, so many so many <laughs> street dwellers there you go. <laughs> How you find the cities like that, man? <laughs> what is interesting? <laughs> you make it. You make them stay in the street. <laughs> so when you when you make them stay in the street, then they they, they commit crimes. Then you know crimes goes up. Then you know, you got you got the police uh, service issues because your your police cannot sustain the kind of crimes. Uh, then you got to build in more police. You know, then uh, so that you can you can catch more. Uh, criminals in and put them into prison then you can, you need a bigger prisons things like that like. so uh, I'm <laughs> you know part and parcel of what I do <laughs> now that create the futures yeah, that's life imagine imagine I got so many petrol cars uh, patrolling around yes, the crime rate is still high <laughs> because there are too many too many suit the other I mean uh, but no choice because they are they better the buildings so uh, this this problem will keep rolled up and you know you just have to keep on demolishing them the bowling we are doing well yeah it's actually quite a nice building, it's just not building, I think we'll call this guys forever. Just next to the Mega Tower, which is house um, you can't compare with the Mega Tower, but it's, the Mega Tower is, is, is huge. Well, I'm seeing the skies forever, the building is actually quite quite nice and quite quite decently you know, constructed. Um, and, and if you like uh, what we have been doing so far on the production of the videos, uh, you may you may want to give us a thumbs up, you know, uh, ring a bell for notification, and if it's possible, uh, do subscribe uh, because uh, we need the support to to do more and to do more means uh, the YouTube got this algorithm which we we need to achieve uh, the likes <coughs> before they they give us uh, the subscriber. I mean, not sus not to give us a subscriber uh, Meaning, you know, we you guys need to like it. Uh, before it become popular and the more people watch it uh, the likely chance of people subscribing increase so that's that's the algorithm uh. so I, I appreciate uh, a lot if uh, you guys who, who watch it if you like it uh, please please do subscribe please give us a like to to encourage us uh. also imagine I, I have crossed 90% of people watching uh, without subscribing <laughs> so I just want to urge uh, urge you guys to to, to help us uh into uh be able to do more if, if you guys want to see the the updates more often you know let let us know give a comments uh let's see what i can do if it's possible because right now we are not doing uh updating that that, that uh, frequently in a sense uh because of also, also the city beauty that we are doing we we are at this moment trying to juggle the timing on on the uploading and publishing uh. So if you like this uh, more, then do do let me know. You know, we, we we try to adjust. You know, we can we can even get get it more frequently done up lah. Yeah. So so don't forget. You know. Thanks for your support. And I just uh, constructed the view tower. 
you know, view tower from Doctor View. I, I'm, I'm at this moment trying to explore how much he can help us in fighting the crime since it's, uh, it's actually inside the uh, police uh, tent. So I think they should be able to help. So as you can see, you know, while we have uh, more crimes committed, more criminals at large, we also have another issue. So we have uh, more, more, more fires uh, happening. You know, which we need to, we need to sort it out. Uh. So, but fire is is one thing uh, quite straightforward to solve, uh, Unlike uh, police uh, issues, because uh, you need to have uh, more police to catch the thief. I mean, to catch the crime criminals. Uh. I also constructed this uh, Maxis main main You know, it's, it's, if you know for those who have played SimCity Beauty, they will know this, know this uh, quite quite uh, clearly. It's something that uh, is, is is this building itself is you can settle uh, your your police uh, police uh, short of police issues, your your health issues, your fire issues. So I, I in, you know, built it one. So crime is an issue. So let's spend some time on the crime. See whether they can help us to solve the crime issue. So likewise, uh, we will let this uh, these two cities uh, offline run for a while, and let's hope uh, we can able to accumulate uh, five million each, simulons uh, for each cities. <laughs> uh, without much uh, changes to it, because I, I seriously don't want to change. Uh, the look of the cities uh, offline, you see, because I will, I will, I will sincerely want to show uh, what are the things that I do during the, the development. But sometimes I'm because I do it offline to accumulate the the simulons, which I believe you guys wouldn't want to see me wouldn't want to see a videos that is you no know, seeing the <laughs> the accumulation part, right? So it, you know, it's wasting us you guys time. So I, I prefer to do it offline. But while I'm doing offline, uh, the system, I mean, Sim Cities forces us, forces me uh, to make changes to the cities, which I I try not to as much as I can. Then, uh, which at the sense, uh, it's better for you guys to see the whole picture. Uh, so at the same time, I also want to probably in the next videos uh, update the the north side of the cities. Yeah, I probably will start off something uh, very fundamentals, just to build in the populations without much things. Uh, if there are need to, to change it, I will just uh, put it in uh, subsequently. Okay, so uh, thank you very much guys. Uh, see you in our next updates. And if you uh, similarly, please uh, do share, like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell for, for be, to, mean to be notified for new uploads. Okay, thank you. Uh, see you again very soon. Yeah, bye.